So in the last episode, we were able to conditionally render our routes and now I want us to log out a user. So this is a pretty straightforward. We just need to clear the state and also remove the local storage. And this is how we can do it. We will go to auth context right here. And uh, let me just scroll down here. And right here, we will create a new function. I can say const log out user. And we set this to be equal to use callback hook to optimize this particular function. So use callback. And uh, the first parameter is an arrow function as usual. And right here is where we clear the state. But let's remember to also include this uh, dependency array, which is empty. We don't have anything there. Now right here, we will uh, access our local storage. And then whatever we will do, we will say remove item. So we have this method available in local storage. And we will remove our user from the local storage. So we use the key correctly. Remember it has a caps right here. For my case that is, I don't know if yours is that way. Now right here, we also update our user state. We set the user here to be null. Now we just need to call this particular function from our navbar. So let's just come here and export it like this or include it in our, our value. Logout user, I save. Now, if we jump to the navbar, we can be able to access that function from our auth context. So right here, I'll say logout user, logout user, like that. And we should create uh, another link for logging out the user. And another thing, if we are already logged in, we shouldn't see these routes, okay? So if we are logged in, we are logged in right now, we shouldn't be seeing login and register. Instead, we should be seeing logout, okay? So we should also conditionally uh, render those. So uh, we check if we have a user uh, inside our stack here, horizontal gap. Uh, in here, we check if we have a user. So let's do this. We use these uh, curly brackets. We check if we have a user. And if this user exists, so we use end end. Let's go ahead and uh, show the logout, okay? If the user exists, we show the logout. So right here, uh, we can use these brackets here and we include some uh, React fragments. And right here, we will display a link uh, for logging out a user. So right here, I can copy one of these and paste it here. So if we have a user, we show the logout. So right here, instead of login, we say uh, log out. Uh, this will link to login when we click logout, so that is okay. But what we should do, we should be adding an on-click event here. So I'll add an on-click event. So I'll say on-click. Uh, let us have this arrow function that will return our logout function. So I'll say uh, logout user and I call that function. So when I click this link, we will call this function and uh, log out the user. That is, we will clear the state and uh, remove the local storage. Now, this is for the case when we have a user. Now, for the case where we don't have a user, we will be having a similar thing. This way, I'll use exclamation mark, meaning that if we don't have a user, let's uh, show the login and the register uh, buttons. So, end, end. I do the similar thing like this. And we can pass these two now in here. So I cut and paste here. Okay. So if we don't have a user, login, register. If we have a user, log out. And let's now check our app. Right there, we are logged in, we see log out. If I click log out, we get to actually log out this user. Click log out, and you see, now we are seeing login, and here we are seeing register. But we also have these. We shouldn't be having it if we don't have a user. So let's also conditionally render this span, okay? So right here, we can say user. And if we have the user, that is when we will get to show the span. So here it should be end, end. And we cross this with the curly bracket. So if we have the user, that is when we show this. If we don't have the user, we won't have it. So I save. And now 
we don't have a user and we don't see it cool